Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just got this new barbecue. It's called the Kamado Acorn Junior. And I just wanted to make a little video. Um, I haven't used it yet, so I just thought it'd be kind of fun to put together a little video, show you guys how it works, um, and give a little review. So basically this thing is just like a big green egg, um, like the ceramic barbecues of that type, a big green egg, uh, Kamado Joe, all those different kinds. Um, I believe this one though isn't um, ceramic. I believe it's a, a metal. Um, as you can see, I just uh, I just got it today, um, and so I haven't even taken the, the little sticker yet off. So basically, it comes um, it comes disassembled. Uh, basically, you just have to screw on the the um, handles and. Uh, the legs and stuff like that um, not too much work took about maybe half an hour um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load this up with some charcoal get it going and show you guys how it works all right so using these things is super simple I uh, just took off the grill grate from the top I'm gonna put in some charcoal to power these things uh, you just use some natural hardwood charcoal you can use any brand you want there's a bunch of different ones I like this one b and uh, I got it from Ace Hardware for like, I don't know, 18 bucks or something for 20 pounds. It's one of the cheaper ones. You can get the big green egg stuff, doesn't really matter. Um, basically, as you can see, it's just chunks of charcoal, hardwood, that they basically bake for a long time. And um, basically is like those kind of shitty, um, who makes those, whatever the, uh, People who makes those shitty uniform little uh, you know lighter fluid smelling ones are this is better all right what's up guys um, so we have put our charcoal in the uh, grill we have lit it up um, I used some of the little cubes uh, from big green egg Let me show you guys um, what they look like basically they're just little wax um, look like that they're little wax and wood chip um, pellets so uh, we put one of those in there we covered it with a little bit of charcoal you kind of make a divot like a little well for um, the, the lighter put it in there cover it with a little more charcoal light it you got to make sure that there's a lot of air as you guys can see um, there's a bunch of gaps in there you need the air to get through and you need to make sure that the bottom vent is open when you're lighting it so it's been about like six minutes now we're gonna let it go for a few more minutes um, it's uh, it's getting hot, but I mean, you want it to the point where you're not going to be able to kind of keep your hand over it. So we're going to let this go for another five minutes. Um, you highly encourage um, drinking a beer throughout this process. Um, it will definitely make things go by quicker. Uh, I'm not sponsored by 805, but uh, you know, um, we'll see. You know, we'll see how big this video gets. Um, so we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Minutes, uh, as you can see, we have a lot more white on the outside, a lot more flames. I can feel how hot it is just from over here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda uh, spread out the flame a little bit. Uh, you gotta kinda be careful with this part because uh, we're dealing with some obviously hot coals. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna kinda move this around not using a lot of wood today because um, we're not going to be cooking for too long so yeah, we got that we're going to stick the grill grate out do that shut the top we're going to leave the top and the bottom vents completely open and we're just going to wait until this thing's hot um, we're probably going to you know, cook it around 450, 500 degrees or something today. So um, this might take a couple minutes to heat up. Um, one thing about these grates um, for this grill, they suggest that you season them a little bit when you get them. So what I did is I just took them, uh, scrubbed them down uh, with some hot water and soap, and then I coated them with a little oil, stuck them in the oven at like 400 for an hour or something just because I think that they come with a little bit of a coating on them. So you kind of got to burn that off. So I'm actually going to let this sit, you know, for a few minutes. Um, if there's any more of that coating on, on the grates, let it burn off. All right, guys. So let me show you what we're going to uh, cook up today. So um, 
Got a little eggplant, uh, just sliced it, salted it, and as you can see all the shininess on it, that's just the water coming out. It's really helpful when you're cooking eggplant just to salt it for like 10, 15, if you can, uh, you know, a couple hours before, just stick it in the fridge, salt it, salt it, stick it in the fridge, and just let it go. That's gonna um, get the texture a lot better when you cook it. So uh, we're gonna be grilling up a little filet. Normally, uh, I usually buy cheaper cuts, but I figured since we're trying out um, the new grill, why not uh, do something a little more fun? So. I got a little filet, I've already salted it. I'm just gonna uh, crack some pepper onto it. A lot of people, I think, fuck up steak by just doing too much with it. Um, I personally think you just need um, salt and pepper for a great steak. Um, but you also need to make sure before you do actually cook it um, that it gets up to room temperature. Uh, you don't want a cold steak. A uh, cold steak's gonna cook unevenly. So really make sure you take it out. You know, at least I would say you know, half an hour, 45, an hour, you know, sometimes even more if it's a really thick piece of meat. Um, so we're gonna let this uh, just kind of chill out until the grill's hot and then we're gonna stick it on. All right guys, so the grill is super hot. I actually let it uh, go a little higher just so I wanted to see if I could, um, you know, sanitize the grates down a little more. So we're actually around 550 now. So I'm gonna get this guy opened up and we're gonna throw on Stop. All right, so we have everything on the grill, and we're gonna come back in a couple minutes and see what it looks like. So in about two minutes, uh, we're gonna give everything a little flip, see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, some nice marks. We're gonna put a little more oil on the uh, other side of this before we flip it, actually. Flipped it, let's check it out. Looking good, gonna give it Turn the opposite direction. These eggplant are looking nice. Basically, I just made a little oil, vinegar, salt, pepper mixer um, on the eggplant. Close it. Two minutes. Okay, last flip on everything. As you guys can see, the, uh, the this thing's really hot. I mean, we've been cooking for less than eight minutes, and we're almost done. Um, we shall see, though. Just finishing off the steak here. Give it a little feel. I like my filet pretty rare, so I actually think we're going to take this off right now. So, if you guys don't know, for steak, uh, for telling the doneness, you basically can use your hand. Um, by touching different fingers to your thumb, it'll kind of give you different gauges um, for doneness of steak. At least. So, uh, pinky and, uh, and thumb, if you kind of touch a little meaty area of your thumb right here with the opposite hand, I can't do it because I'm holding the camera, the texture of that little spot is going to kind of tell you the doneness. So, um, pinky thumb, touch that. That's that's pretty well done. Here, that's about a uh, uh, you know medium well, medium, medium rare, and then pretty rare. So you know pretty squishy kind of. Still a little spring back. That's going to be a rare. And if you see, boom, kind of squishy. That's about rare. So we're gonna let this sit ten minutes. Actually, might put a little butter on this. Um, let it chill out, and uh, we'll cut into it. All right, while we're waiting for the uh, steak to rest, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this grill and kind of just some of my thoughts on uh, cooking with it. So um, overall, it uh, seems pretty pretty well, um, a pretty good equivalent kind of the big green egg. I mean, this thing cost 150 bucks um, and it works really well in comparison to something like the big green egg. Obviously, with a, with a ceramic grill, you're gonna have a little better insulation than the, than the, the metal, but uh, this thing worked great. It's a lot smaller, um, so you're not gonna be able to do things like a big brisket, you know, a big turkey, a leg of lamb, but, you know, for little things, uh, if you wanna do a rack of ribs, a smaller brisket, you could do a whole chicken for sure in this. Um, I think it's great. Uh, all in all, you know, with the, with the indirect heating element in the case and you know obviously the grill I think you know you're gonna run about 200 bucks which is really great you know in comparison to big green egg you're gonna be spending uh, you know a thousand dollars plus if you want uh, one of those guys um, 
so yeah uh i think this is a good addition or you know a good kind of like starter into the world of like charcoal grills i guess um really easy to use super simple um and in times like this when you know uh you want to be a little more self-reliant i think it gives you a nice feeling of i don't know like connection with your food because you're actually making the fire you're um you know adjusting it choosing the temperature as opposed to you know using something like a gas grill or uh, a stove or something it's a little less um i don't know you're a little less connected with the food um so overall i'd say uh, pretty good i guess we're gonna wait until we cut into the steak uh to see how we actually did but um overall pretty good i like this thing and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun uh we're gonna do a rack of ribs tomorrow so uh check back in all right so we just let it rest for a couple minutes like 10 minutes actually always got to let uh, your steak rest um, if you don't you're a fucking idiot and you're gonna ruin your steak so let it rest and we'll give you guys a little shot of what it looks like all right so I think we hit rare pretty good Wow. What do you think, Bernardo? It looks good, man. 